Welcome to Egmont, British Columbia. You know, they say that in order to make a go of it in Canadian show business, you need to be prepared to give up your dignity or to sink to new lows. Both true. How low is the Mercer Report prepared to go? This week, right to the bottom. Welcome aboard the Inlet Raider. I'm now joined by Phil Newton. Hello, Phil. How are you? Hi, Rick. Phil Good to have you aboard. is the founder, CEO, chief bottle washer of Nutco. He builds submarines. Yeah, it's a, it's a rather obscure business, but I enjoy it. Well, this submarine behind us is called Aquarius, AQ we call it right. for short, and it's a three-person sub, so we'll have a pilot in the back. Uh -huh. You and I will be in the front looking out through a big vision dome, this big dome right here. Yeah. And uh, we're going to go down very deep. Right. Um, and we're How look deep, Phil? 1,000 feet. So think about that. 1,000 feet yeah. is the height of a 100-story building. So when you stand in a 100-story building and look down and see those little ants crawling around, that's where we're going. At what depth does a man's lungs collapse? Oh, if, if, we, if anything goes wrong with this thing, yeah. the, the dome blows in or something like that, you don't have to worry about your lungs collapsing. You'll be long gone before... Why? Well, because you know, that's it. It's like squashing a bug. All right, now there's a second sub. Yeah, right yes, behind us. This right behind us. This is a little sub called Deep Worker, which is nothing more than an underwater sports car. How uh, long is this from stem to stern? From stem or to bow stern? to About stern? About uh, eight and a half, nine feet. Jesus, tiny, isn't it? Well, this fits in the back of a three-quarter ton pickup. This is a 2,000-foot diving system you throw in your truck. This one we're set up now for photography, so we have all the lighting on it. Does it have a CD player or anything in it? Yes, it does. What else do you use it for? Oh, we do a lot of work with Hollywood. Uh, matter of fact, we supplied the subs for the uh, for James Cameron's movie, The Abyss. Oh, okay. You know, all those subs that were yes, thrashing around. Yes. It's got a cult movie now. Yeah. And then when we did Titanic, we did the propulsion platform to go take the... Cameras. Any movies with a happy ending? <laughs> You're going to let me drive this? Absolutely. Can I, would it be inappropriate to ask what this costs? Uh, these little puppies are about three quarters of a million bucks. So take it easy, you know. <laughs> Finally, a hat that fits. I can hear you, Over. Does this have an airbag, Over? Am I supposed to be going up in the air now, Over? I feel like a tuna. I think I have to use the bathroom, Over. Oh, my. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you a registered lifeguard? Over. Bye. Okay, now if you push your right toe down, you can start moving ahead. Oh my goodness, I'm driving a submarine. Oh my. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh. Handles like a smart car. Better than a smart car. That was fun. Now we go into the big south. Me first? Yeah, in case you fall. <laughs> I'll just leave my shoes here as an empty testament to what was. Okay. Well, there's granola bars. There is. Oh, well, that's nice. Right. Okay. This is it. Yeah, we're ready to rock and this roll. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, here we, here we go. Here we go. This part is fun, too. Now, where did you go to school to learn how to design? I didn't. Uh, what do you mean? I went to high school, and uh, like everybody else, and I couldn't wait to get out of high school, and I went into commercial diving. In fact, I was still doing... No, commercial. no, go back to the where did you go to school to learn how to design I didn't submarines. ever go to school to learn how to design submarines. In fact, I don't even think there is a school to learn how to design submarines. So this is kind of an amateur effort, so I, will, I hope it works. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The water's coming... Coming, coming, coming. Is this supposed to happen? <clears throat> yes, this is. Those little bubbles are supposed to come out. Here comes the other bubbles on this oh. side. There they go. <sighs> this is this amazing. Wow. How deep are we now? 400, uh, 500? No, we're about four feet. I see. OK. This is good. This but is we're a... heading. We're heading down. We're going down? Yeah. Now we're all, because I don't feel the movement. Why are the walls wet? Uh, they're sweating. <laughs> they're not the only thing that's sweating. <laughs> what, uh, what's the depth, Jeff? 200. 200. We're, We're at 200 feet. Yeah. You know what else you could use the sub for? Getting Conrad Black out of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> What's the depth, uh, Jeff? Uh, coming up on the 400. Oh, there's a zero look at that zero thing. Zero seven zero. zero Isn't that something? Zero. That's beautiful. <laughs> Give us a uh, depth, Jeff. Uh, six seven zero. So oh, very few people have been at this depth. That's right. Very few. There's the bottom. Uh, we're coming to the bottom. There is the bottom. We're on the bottom of the ocean. Yep, they okay. are. Here's the bottom right here. Oh, look at that thing. 
What's that? Look at that. Look at that. What's that? It's a ratfish. It's a ratfish. Yeah, it's a prehistoric type fish. It certainly is. I can't believe we're on the bottom of the ocean. Okay, Phil, how deep are we? We're at uh, almost 1,000 feet, about 970 feet. We're at almost 1,000 feet. We're at the bottom of the ocean, and Mike and the other sub is going to do me a little favor. Go, Mike. Oh, look at that. Holy cow. We're now at war with a Russian TV show. Take that, Russia. Thank you, Phil. That was great. Unbelievable. And I'm alive. And you went all the way down to the bottom and came all the way back to the top. So there's hope for Stéphane Dion yet. You're watching the Mercer Report on CBC. You go!